Well, I'm going to install some uh, Snyder's brake, front brake floaters on this 29 two-door that we've been working on for a while. And I uh, thought I'd show you fellows how they work. Uh, this is the original brake wedge. And, you know, anybody with any experience with a Model A knows that uh, when you push the pedal, this comes down and spreads the shoes. Well, if there's, this is the original bolt that holds it, and it floats up and down on the bolt, but there's no sideways motion. So if your if your brake shoes were off centered a little bit in the drum, you know one one shoe is going to do more braking than the other. So Snyder's or somebody come up with this deal. They take they take a make a new pin and they uh drill a hole in it put a put a pin in it and that pin floats so uh, sometimes you have to uh file these pins a little bit to get them to fit but I don't know if we will on this one or not no it's gonna work so see what now it can automatically center in the drum when you apply the brakes. And I, I think that's a good thing. And uh, so we're going to uh, install these on this 29. Not a lot to it. So and we'll show you how that's done. Here's the original one that we're going to... Uh, change and you can see how, how they work I'll, I'll pull the brake lever I got the pin out and uh, you can see you can see the see it spread the shoes so uh, we'll we'll get set up here and we'll get the pin off and put the floaters on well the first thing we got to do is, is pull the car key out Take the nut off, which is a three-quarter socket to it. Now we'll come around on this side. And we'll pull the pin out. I'm gonna go ahead and take the wedge out. washer there's a flat washer behind it brake rod comes out well, while we got it got it loose here I'm gonna inspect the the roller track and see how it is we'll go ahead and pull the shoes off spring unhooked up here
Uh, the roller tracks were pretty good on this one. Most of the time, if it got a lot of wire and everything on them, uh, this will get dipped out right here. It'll, and that lets you let your uh, brake shoes drop down in that way, and they're not centered then. So uh, somebody's probably built this one up with a weld, and then they flatten them back off. So. So it's in pretty good shape. So we'll go ahead and put the floaters on. Like I showed you a minute ago, we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and put the pin in the, in the floater, slip it together. Then you got a special washer here. It won't go but one way. And we'll put it on. Tap it a little bit. And now we'll put it put it right back on. We gotta put our brake adjusting rod in. Put a little grease on top. Got your dust shields here. Now we're gonna come around on the back side. And put the nut on. Tighten it back up. Line the hole up for the car to key. And we'll make sure this is free when you put it in. And so you can see here, now you got that much uh, movement for the shoes to line up. So now we're going to put our shoes back on. Put the top spring on. Put our short springs on. Just hook your crescent wrench or anything you got that'll pop that thing on there. 
right, so now we'll get the other side on. You got long sides of spring too. Uh, the long side goes towards the shoe. got to pop them shoes up on the roller track and you can see they went in and now we're ready to pack the wheel bearings put the hubs back on drums and uh, just the brakes up so I hope you guys enjoyed this thanks for watching this is what it should look like when you get it all back together.